I want to talk about God and anxiety. I've had anxiety and panic attacks for over 30 years. Last year I was diagnosed with PTSD because of something that happened to me when I was 14 and I went on to have CBT, Cognitive Behavioural Therapy at Pullman Place under the Let's Talk, the mental health support team. When I became a Christian nearly 22 years ago, I thought God would heal me instantly, but instead it has been a gradual healing curve with ups and downs and it is ongoing. Through this coronavirus pandemic, I thought my anxiety would rear its ugly head, but it hasn't really. I know many of you will be feeling anxious during this time. So I'd like to share with you some scripture that has helped me over the years and a box breathing technique. So what you have to do is, it's easy to remember, just remember four. So you breathe in for four slowly, hold for four, breathe out for four, and hold that for four. So one, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, and hold, one, two, three, four. I often do. I can do all things with Christ who strengthens me. I can do all things with Christ who strengthens me. I'd like to share some scriptures that has particularly helped me. Philippians 4 verses 6 to 7, 6 to 8. Do not be anxious about anything but in every situation, by prayer and petition, give thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Philippians 4 verse 13. I can do all things with Christ who strengthens me. Joshua 1 verses 9. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. 1 Peter 5, verses 6 and 7. Humble yourselves, therefore, under God's mighty hand, that he may lift you up in due time. Cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. And 1 Thessalonians 5, verses 9 and 10. For God did not appoint us to suffer wrath, but to receive salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ. He died for us so that whether we are awake or asleep, we may live together with him. And I'd just like to read now my favourite passage of the Bible, uh, which is 1 Peter 1, starting at verse 3 going on to verse 9. Praise be to God and Father, our Lord Jesus Christ. In his great mercy, he has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead and into an inheritance that can never 
perish, spoil or fade. This inheritance is kept in heaven for you, who through faith are shielded by God's power until the coming of the salvation that is ready to be revealed in the last time. In all this you greatly rejoice, though now, for a little while, you may have had to suffer grief in all kinds of trials. These have come so that your proven genuineness of your faith, of greater worth than gold, which perishes even though refined by fire, may result in praise, glory and honour when Christ Jesus is revealed. Though you have not seen him, you love him, and even though you do not see him now, you believe in him and are filled with an inexpressible and glorious joy, for you are receiving the end result of your faith, the salvation of your souls. Let's pray. Father God, I thank you that in this time of coronavirus that you are still with us and that you are protecting us, guiding us and loving us. Lord, I just pray that anyone who's feeling anxious in these times may draw on scripture to encourage them. And I just thank you, Lord, just for your glorious gift of Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for listening.